and welcome to The Lake Report. I'm Katie Sartoris, the local news editor at The Daily Commercial and your host here on The Lake Report. It's been a busy news week, so let's start with some headlines. On Tuesday, Cleanup Eustis and the Eustis Police Department are hosting the second Clean Up with a Cop. Volunteers will pick up trash starting at 3 p.m. at Palmetto Park alongside officers and they need volunteers. All are welcome to volunteer and no sign up is necessary. We need to take care of the planet, EPD Chief Capri said. It's the only one we've got. Earlier this week, dozens came out to Lake Sumter Landing in the villages to celebrate women's right to vote, which was granted after the adoption of the 19th Amendment of the U.S. Constitution in 1920. The event, Standing on Their Shoulders from Vote to Voice, was hosted by Sisters of Suffrage, a local nonpartisan group formed to celebrate women's suffrage. Speakers, singers, dancers, and other performers highlighted the past, present, and future of women's rights. And the timing was right, too. March 8th was International Women's Day. A bill that would change the way the Lake County Water Authority operates is moving in the legislature. Among other things, the proposal would move operations of the local water quality agency to the county and turn what is currently a seven-member elected board into a five-member board appointed by county commissioners. To keep up with this controversial measure, visit dailycommercial.com. And now for the latest on the local COVID-19 front. The Florida Department of Health reported another weekly drop in coronavirus cases since the Omicron surge began locally late last year. That's now seven consecutive weeks of declining numbers. Still, experts agree getting vaccinated is the best way to protect yourself from a severe bout with the coronavirus, and more people are getting vaccinated every week. As it stands in Lake County, 69% of people five and older are vaccinated. That number is even higher in Sumter County at 76%. Still need your shot? Find a location at vaccines.gov. Leesburg's Art Fuse Festival kicked off Saturday and goes through Sunday. For your guide to the event, visit dailycommercial.com. Of course, you'll find more news on our website and in the pages of the Daily Commercial. Sleepy Hollow Sports Complex is a buzz as college softball teams compete at the spring games, which are going until March 20th. Brittany Hollow reports. Welcome to Sleepy Hollow Complex. I'm Brittany and I'm part of your recreation staff here at the city of Leesburg and we are surrounded by NCAA girls softball games playing right here in the city of Leesburg. There's lots going on all the way till March 20th. Some of the games that you're going to see here at Sleepy Hollow Complex are teams from all over including D3 all the way up to D1 schools playing here in the city of Leesburg. There's lots of improvements that happen here at the complex. You would love to come see it. Cheer on your girls. As you can hear in the background they're cheering on their team as well. We're out in the beautiful sunshine here and we're going to go see if we can check in with one of the coaches or the players. We're here with Peter and he traveled all the way from New York here to Leesburg, Florida. Tell me, how was your trip down here from New York? It was awesome. Coming from the snow and watching the weather change gradually to warm, seeing leaves on the tree, it was just a nice ride, ride to Florida. We drove here and uh, just a nice ride, nice beautiful ride. And I love the state. Perfect, and how are the fields? We did a lot of improvements here at Sleepy Hollow Complex. Tell us as a parent watching these games, how does it look, how do you like being at the complex? Love the complex, uh, very fan friendly. Uh, a lot of room here at, the, at this park. Um, in fact, we're gonna be getting together with the parents. We're gonna have a little get together luncheon type thing and uh, we're enjoying it here. Really nice fields, uh, they look beautiful, beautiful. That's awesome, and my last biggest question, tell me your love for softball. Love it. I actually coached it uh, when our old our daughter here was playing for Houghton College. Uh, I coached it when she was in uh, house league, and uh, love the game. Love love watching her play. Love the fact she loves the game. Um, she played some travel in uh, Western New York uh, all throughout her you know from 14 U on, and uh, she loves the game. We love the game, and uh, in fact, I like watching that but more than the MLB actually. <laughs> watching college softball is awesome. Of course, it's definitely more exciting, more action packed. Now, I wish you nothing but luck for this whole weekend. You guys bring home numerous wins. We enjoy that you guys were out here. Thank you very much awesome. for being out here. Awesome, thank you. Peter, New York.
All right, well, Coach Jerry, welcome to Sleepy Hollow Complex. So far, how are the games going for you guys? We've been very fortunate. Our girls have played even better than we thought coming down here. We're 5-0. and okay. We haven't lost a game. We've scored 40, 50 runs. I mean, we're on a pretty good roll, and who knows if it continues, right? It's our first week out. We'll see what happens. Well, I wish you nothing but the best of luck right. out here. How are the complexes? Tell us how you like these fields out here at Sleepy Hollow. We like the spring games. Um, we love the complexes. I know some are far apart. You know, we're an hour and a half from this one, but um, the fields are fantastic. The facilities are great. Um, the weather has been great. So what can you ask for? When you're from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, you know, it's 10 degrees and maybe snow. I'm happy to be here. All right, we love it. And my last question is, what's your prediction for this weekend? How's the team looking? How you feeling? Where are we going to put our money at? Okay. Well, I'll be honest with you. 5-0 and is a little bit better than we thought coming down here as a coaching staff. We're extremely happy with the way the girls have been playing. They put their heart and soul into it. We don't get an opportunity to play before we come here. So this is, this is the beginning of the season, the real beginning of the season. So predictions, um, if we can continue to just stay in the zone, have a little bit of fun, you know, swing bats, do this, not worry like they do about every little thing. I think we'll be fine. We might win another game or so and, and we'll go home. All right, well, we hope so comes to a, quite a few games coming on there. And we hope you guys come join us out here. Bring your fans, bring the kids, come cheer on Eastern University. And we hope to see you here at Sleepy Hollow. So come check us out. Get your tickets at thespringgames.com. Love to see you here. Thanks, Brittany, for that update. Don't touch that dial. When we come back, we've got a report from the Black Heritage Festival in Leesburg. But before we cut to break, here's a message from Clean Up Leesburg. Hi, I'm Dr. Erica Jasper. And I'm Alan Reisman. And we're here to invite you to our upcoming cleanup sponsored by the City of Leesburg and Keep Lake Beautiful on April the 9th from 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. So, Alan, where are we going to have these cleanups? Cleanups are going to be at three different locations. Veterans Park and Trails, Berry Park and the Trails, and John L. Johnson Park and the surrounding community. Why not have a clean and beautiful environment where we can prosper and soar and have a sense of pride about our very own community? There's no place like home and there's no place like the beautiful lakefront city that we love to call home. This is our home and we need to take pride in where we live. And I think the community coming together, cleaning up our community is what it's all about. For more information, log on to Keep Lake Beautiful website. And like and follow our Facebook page at Leesburg Community Cleanup. We're gonna go ahead and get a jump start on cleaning up. Let's, Let's go. Let's go. Oh, wait, this way. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. We hope you're enjoying this week's episode of The Lake Report, a partnership between Leesburg's Lakefront TV and The Daily Commercial. This weekly magazine show features news and event coverage from around our community. Have a story idea? We'd love to hear it. Shoot us an email at lakefront at leesburgflorida.gov. Last weekend, Men of Distinction hosted the 22nd annual Black Heritage Festival in Leesburg. The event was held at the Leesburg Resource Center and featured vendors, music, food, and more. Dr. Erica Jasper joins us now for a report. Hi, this is Dr. Erica Jasper reporting live for Lakefront TV in the beautiful city of Leesburg here at the 2022 Leesburg Black Heritage Festival. We're out here having fun with family, with a day of entertainment, with vendors, food vendors and clothing apparel. So come on, let's go check it out. We're out here at the Black Heritage Festival. Could you tell me the importance, what does it mean for you to be out here today? Oh, it's very important to be out here. We have to preserve our history and know the history of all peoples, but we've been in this country forever. We have a history to preserve and to tell and to share so that we don't repeat the things that we don't want to repeat and move on, progress to the positive things. So it's very important to be out here with the people. Awesome, that's wonderful. Of being here at the festival, why, why come out here and why bring your girls? I think 
the cultural part of it is is good for the uh, community and for my daughters to see uh, people of color doing good things in our community and just have overall fun, uh, participate with some of the vendors and just overall having a good time. I think it's important for us to get our business name out there. We've been doing this about eight years now. So I think it's important to network and come out and fellowship and meet new people. What type, what type of business do you have? We actually have a mobile seafood business. Mobile seafood business, that's awesome. So what type, what's on the menu? We have fried conch for all of you guys who are looking for the conch. We got the best conch in the city. We have conch salad. We got fried fish. We got fried shrimp. We have calamari and we got oysters as well. Yep. That sounds appetizing. Yeah. Ooh, that's delicious. Can I taste some of that? Can I sample some of that? Yes, ma'am. We got awesome. you. We got you. Okay, mm -hmm. awesome, awesome. Well, why is it so important as far as black history that uh, individuals come out to an event like this and con congregate together from a black history standpoint? I think from a black history standpoint, um, I think we should all come out because we should support support one another. Without, without each other's support, how are we supposed to grow? Awesome. Thank you so much, Ms. Card. I want to taste that food. All right. <laughs> thank you. All right, thank you. Here at the Leesburg Black Heritage Festival, it's not only a place where you can come and enjoy food and clothing apparel, but it's also a fun place for kids to have fun, even on the bounce house. And as we can see, we have kids right here playing on the bounce house. We have live music going on here, all at the Leesburg Black Heritage Festival. TV. Thank you to all our sponsors for the Leesburg Black Heritage Festival. It's been a beautiful day for family and for fun and for our heritage to be excited about. Thanks, Dr. Jasper. Well, that's all the time we have for this week. We hope you enjoyed the show. To catch it again or to watch more episodes of The Lake Report, log on to Lakefront TV's YouTube channel. And of course, don't forget to follow the daily commercial on Lakefront TV on Facebook for the latest. Until next time, get out there and explore this beautiful place we all call home.